verse that I'd like to share with you right now, and it comes from 2 Corinthians chapter 1, verses 3 and 4. It says, All praise to God, the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. God is our merciful Father and the source of all comfort. He comforts us in all our troubles so that we can comfort others. When they are troubled, we will be able to give them the same comfort that God has given us. Uh, during these times, it's really difficult sometimes to keep it together and something that continues to sustain us is our God. He is the, our great sustainer. And as this verse is talking about, he likes to soothe us. He likes to renew us and revive us and to give us the comfort that we need so that we can move forward and, and do what he's called us to do. But another portion of this verse is talking about how just as God comforts us, he'd like for us to comfort others. And so my question to you is how do you comfort others? Something is I've been moving this week, I've gone through a lot of boxes and one of these boxes is filled with cards. Uh, cards, and I have a couple of these boxes actually, I really love them. And I have cards on different occasions, I have cards that are just encouraging moments that people felt the need to to share encouraging words with me and cards are really comforting to me. It reminds me that I am loved, it reminds me of that God has put people in my life that love me, that care about me, that encourage me. And so uh, it's something that I've been convicted of that I should probably start sending cards out to other people. Everybody loves a little bit of encouragement at some point in their life. So I'd like to encourage you, what is something that you can do to comfort another person? Maybe it's an act of kindness, maybe it is a card, maybe it's a phone call or a text or even an email. But I would like to challenge you this week, if you have someone that, pray for someone that God can put in your mind that you can comfort and that you can encourage and uh, do it. It's a great time right now to be the church to each other.